Welcome to the Superfast Touch Designer tutorial series. In the following tutorial, we'll explore how to create a dynamic and chaotic structure using the Pops family in Touch Designer. We'll use Chop to Pop to generate flowing sign-based curves, apply skin to form tubular geometry, and organize everything with multiple copy operators to build what we'll call a synthetic wire garden. Chapter 1. Overview. The following network is divided into three clearly defined sections. From left to right, we have the modeling section, where we'll focus on shaping the main component of the network, a sine wave line that is transformed into a tubular geometry using a skin pop. In the next section, called copies, I've used a series of copy operators and twist transformations to give form to the larger structure. And finally, as usual, in the last section, we have the network for rendering our geometry, along with a small setup using Luma Blur to create the depth of field effect. Without further explanation, let's start building the network. A quick pause. If we haven't met yet, I'm Okami Rufu, and my life's purpose is to create, inspire, and educate through my work as a creative technologist focused on touch designer. I'm jumping in just for a moment to let you know that I've built a growing community on school, where you'll find beginner and intermediate courses, exclusive tutorials, and a library of downloadable project files, including special bundles you won't find anywhere else. But more than that, it's an active, thriving space. For example, in one of the exclusive tutorials I uploaded recently, there are already tons of people interacting, sharing project files, asking questions, and helping each other. It goes far beyond a traditional academic setting. I've put a lot of energy into making it practical, efficient, and fun. And the best part? This space is slowly integrating all the value I've already built on Patreon, all in one place for the same price. I truly hope to see you there, sharing knowledge, experimenting together, and asking the questions that help us all grow. I'll leave all the links in the description. Chapter 2, Network. As we've seen in my recent tutorials, this time we're going to start the network from scratch in a linear way, and I'll briefly explain some key concepts along the way. To begin, we'll create a pattern chop and use the following parameters. We'll animate the phase using abs time dot seconds divided by five. With this, we already have a waving sine wave, which will convert into tubes within the Pops universe. Perfect. The next operators we need are a circle period and a chopped pop. And we'll connect both to a copy as follows. Make sure to change the orientation of the circle to the YZ plane. And also reduce the radius of the circle. I've set it to 0.2 for both axes. The number of divisions doesn't need to be very high either, so I've left it at 24. Now in the chop to pop. First we need to reference the pattern chop in its chop parameter. Next, let's change the start position to 0 and the end position to 20. This will stretch the original sine wave along the x-axis. As always, feel free to experiment with these values. Finally, in the attribute scope. Type P dot Y. To assign only the Y axis values from the pattern chop. With this, we should now see the sine wave within the Pops Operator's universe. By now, you'll have noticed that we've created multiple repetitions or copies of the circle following the shape of the sine wave. Up to this point, this simple but extremely powerful technique can be used to model 3D geometries parametrically with hundreds or even thousands of different possibilities. Now, to give it the tubular shape, we'll connect a skin operator. This takes a series of points and connects them into a mesh. Once this is working, we can connect a normal to recalculate the normals and get correct shading. With that, we've finished the first part. Let's move on to the next section, where with a series of copy and twist operators, we'll deform this geometry until we get a kind of chaotic nest First, we'll create a copy connected to the last operator in the network. With this copy, I simply want to make five copies of the geometry and rotate them 70 degrees on the x-axis. Now I'll connect the first twist, where the goal is to rotate these geometries using a value of 50 or more. You can experiment here. And this allows us to start giving a woven look to the geometry coming from the copies. Next, I'll create another twist, where I'll set the first axis to Z and the second axis to X, and also change the operation to bend. 
Then I'll set the strength to 360 degrees to get a spiral form. Finally, I'll animate the roll off using absolute time seconds divided by 30. So that the animation is very smooth. Once this is done, we'll use another copy, which we'll connect here. The parameters are more subtle, but if you'd like, you can copy the ones I used. Perfect. Now we'll create one last copy and apply the following parameters. And that's it. We now have our synthetic wire garden ready for rendering. I won't explain the rendering network in detail in this tutorial, as there are already several tutorials covering that. You could check out the previous tutorial where I talk about these details, or get the project file for this video directly from my school community, where, as I've mentioned before, I offer courses, exclusive and specialized tutorials, and now I've also started uploading the project files for these new tutorials. If it's more convenient for you, you can also find them on Patreon. That said, I'll briefly explain the render network, Basically, I'm connecting the final result to a geo component. And to make the render work, you'll need to create a camera and a render top. You'll also need a texture, which I created using a PBR material, and plenty of lighting. The key to getting reflections is using an environment light with an HDRI image. The rest involves a couple of lights where I added shadows and these soft blue tones. To finish, I added a Luma Blur to create the depth of field effect. And this is it. I hope you've successfully completed this tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and smash the like button. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments.